Welcome to another episode of Have You Seen It? I'm Charles, and I am with my homegirl, Denise. How you doing? Hello. I'm good. Hello, moviegoers. So today we are still in, regardless of what's coming from the hill, we have a crisis, and we are still in that crisis. Vote. MLK didn't die for nothing. John <laughs> Lewis didn't die for nothing. Come on, people. The people. dream has not been realized yet. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're coming off our political soapbox and hey. going into the movies. <laughs> <laughs> so what movie are you recommending this week for our lovely audience? Okay, the theaters are still closed, so we're still in the business of recommending some of our favorites to you. All right, so my recommendation this week is a new movie that came out in 2020. It's called An American Pickle. <laughs> It stars American Pickle. Pickle, yes. <laughs> this movie. This is a delightful movie. I wasn't sure what to expect because as I was scrolling through, you know, uh, HBO Max, I kept coming across this movie, and I'm like, "What is this ridiculous?" name for a movie, first of all, and what could it possibly be about? So I finally decided to check it out. And it stars Seth Rogen as Herschel Greenbaum. And he is a gentleman who was working in a pickle factory in Brooklyn many, 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 many years ago. Okay. And he accidentally falls into a vat of brine and of course nobody saw it happen so what, he brine... fell into the pickle juice yes <laughs> <laughs> so the brine uh they close it up they don't know he's in there and he's in there for a hundred years because the pickle factory had since become condemned so he is in this pickle vat for 100 years, yet he has been preserved quite nicely. So when he emerges from the vat some 100 years later, of course, his family is dead, uh, at least the family he remembered, and the world has changed a little bit. So now he's in contemporary Brooklyn, and he actually meets his great grandson also played by Seth Rogen. So of course, a hundred years have passed so the world has changed tremendously. There's been the advancement of technology and he's learning how to use all of these things with the help of his great grandson. But then their relationship uh, starts off very sweet, but then it kind of hits a rocky Point. I won't right. give that part away. It hits a little rocky point. So young Seth, great grandson, uh, kind of turns the tables on great granddad because of a disagreement. And so you get to see their relationship, uh, how it forms and how it evolves and how basically at the end of the movie, it's all about family for them. And you see how that you know, transpires, and it's a nice movie. It's only like 90 minutes long, and it, it's a quirky little movie. I, I would call it a dramedy. Right. Because mm -hmm. although there was, you know, some serious scenes, I wasn't sure, am I supposed to laugh at this or <laughs> what? <laughs> am I supposed to laugh? Because right now what I'm seeing is kind of funny, but right, I'm not right. sure. But then there were some laugh out loud moments for me and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I recommend An American Pickle. Okay, so my <laughs> movie for this week has a much more conventional name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my movie for this week is Phenomenon. Okay. Starring John Travolta, Carol Segwick, Forrest Whitaker, and Robert Duvall. Uh, so John Travolta plays George Malley. He's a kind, average auto mechanic in a small town in 
Northern California. And uh, while they were celebrating his birthday in one of the local bars, right, uh, he stepped outside just to get a fresh air, and he saw this light come at him. And the light kept coming at him, and it hit him. And this big, loud sound happened, and it knocked him down to the ground. So he goes back in. He said, hey, did anybody hear that loud sound? Or did anybody see the light? They was like, dude, what are you talking about? <laughs> are you on a little bit crazy? So as George gets ready to leave out the bar, uh, him and his friend, Doc, who's played by Robert Duvall, he ends up, they were playing a game of chess, and he ends up putting, uh, checkmating uh, Duvall as he walks out of the, out of the, uh, the bar. Jo George Mallet over the next couple of days, start seeing that he has got smarter. Not only he's got smarter, right, his intelligence level was off the chart. And he started also exhibiting the ability for, of telekinesis. And so through a series of events, guess what happened? The government finds out about it. <laughs> Good old government. <laughs> uh, and they want to take his ability and use it, probably not in a good way. Uh, but George, he won't have anything to do with that. All he wants to do is do good with his newfound ability. So this right here is a heartfelt tearjerker. Mm -hmm. John Travolta was absolutely fantastic as, as George. Uh, this one's for the whole family. Yes, I, I mean, it is. A, this is a whole family, and I'm going to tell you: if you're going to come out, you're going to come out of this movie, and you're going to, you're really going to feel something because you're going to really connect to John Travolta's character in this movie. Yeah. So my recommendation is Phenomenon. Thank you. So now, Denise, who yeah. is your nailed it? Nailed it. <laughs> my <laughs> nailed it. Me actor for this week and i'm going way back to 1931 black and white bella lugosi as dracula oh <laughs> not that i was alive in 1931 but when i saw this movie this rerun as a child i was frightened after the movie i believed in dracula I believed in vampires and I wanted to find out where Transylvania was on a map. He was very convincing, <laughs> you know, as Dracula to me. And right, uh, right, right, right. He, he frightened me. <laughs> <laughs> My nailed it actor for this week is Nicolas Cage as Castor Troy in face off. Uh, if you have not seen this movie, he ends up playing two different characters. Nicholas Cage character, uh, how he played Castor Troy was incredible. So my nailed it actor for this week is Nicholas Cage as Castor Troy in Face Off. All right, folks, you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that like button. And we are on every podcast platform in the universe. Just type <laughs> yes, in, have you seen it with Charles and Denise? And there we will be. Vote, vote, vote. Vote, vote, vote. <laughs> <laughs> and this is another episode of Have You Seen It with Charles and my homegirl, Denise. And we're out. Bye-bye.